You really gotta go outside. You sure? Getting ready to make my way off to the gym. Today we have back and shoulders. Gonna do a few compounds. It's about two, almost two o'clock. So, also sipping on some pre-workout. Got myself some aminos, uh, slightly core, <clears throat> and a scoop of creatine in here. So, what I wanted to talk to you guys about before I actually head off to the gym and get there, I'm going to be going back to Michigan soon, come March 11th through the 17th, I think it is. What I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing a few guest passes or going to a few gyms out there. Probably go to my old gym. And I've talked to a few people about it because they wanna, um, I have a few people I wanna meet there um, and just kinda get a workout with. But I'm gonna have, kinda try to keep everyone updated on what gym I'm going to, what gym I'll be at. So then, you know, if, if I see you, we can work out. And uh, also, if you just message me, I'll try to try to get in, you know, into your gym or just, you know, just let me know where your gym is at or where you work out usually at and we'll go, we'll work out. going to be uh, filming all of it, my whole trip, um, my workouts, everything there. It'll be cold, but uh, first time on a plane as well. So going to be very, very fun. Me and my sister are going down, going up, because we're at the bottom of the state. <laughs> we're, we're, we're in the south now. Um, so we're going north. Man, you don't see many squirrels, but you see this little guy right here? As soon as I opened the door, he went running. Scared the death out of me. I literally, <laughs> I don't know what his, what his plan of attack is right now, but he went running. I was like, oh, because you, you don't see hardly any squirrels here. That's the one thing I know is there's more squirrels up north than there's in Texas. Chipotle, about to go get some uh, lunch, like dunch. It's like lunch and dinner. Uh, it's around 4.30. I, my, I just got out of the gym, did my workout. Got an, another client at 7 p.m., so I'll eat this. I'll probably take it home. I don't really like driving home at least twice from the gym. It's a lot, it's a lot of gas, but I got some time today. Um, so I'll go in here, probably gonna get a bowl. So it's pretty fast, guys. It was in and out. It took like two minutes to get my food. I wish I would timed it. Here's a fun fact for you guys. If you guys ever come to Houston, traffic is always crazy. I mean, it's nothing like New York or um, California, but it is crazy how many people live in this. You know, it's the biggest state, Texas, but Houston has so many drivers all throughout the day. It's one place too. You'll be like, you'll be driving at midnight. Well, not midnight, but probably midnight and uh there's traffic galore but i love it it's nice outside right now it don't even feel like winter you really gotta go outside you sure 
Yes? So just taking Lucy out right now. She always has to go when I come home. But uh, waiting outside with her. Got back from the gym. Feels so good outside, guys. This is beautiful weather that we're having right now. And uh, I record a lot today because I usually record the most when I'm not at work. Yesterday was a very busy day for me. Um, I worked, I had a lot of clients yesterday. Today is more of a relaxed, you know, I can record my meals. I have time on my hands. I'll do a few uploading of videos. Um, I'll pretty much do today as like a prepare day. If I have like my morning and my afternoon open, I prepare for the rest of the day. So it's really nice getting some time, you know, to really kind of just relax and uh, focus on yourself. Lucy. There she goes. So going to be having with my Chipotle, my favorite hot sauce, Chalua. Also for some of you, here's a Chipotle tip for me. Uh, if you don't want to get a burrito, but you still want, you know, that soft tortilla, what I do is I always hold on to some at home. That way, because there's a lot of calories in a burrito, this way I can just make my own. It has a lot less calories. I'll just use the bowl, put what's in the bowl inside here, and eat it. All right, guys, just arrived over here at Sports Authority. About to go in there, and uh, what I'm trying to do is, um, it's a system of training, it's called oculation. I, don't, I think that's how you pronounce it. Like, a lot of people do it for bicep curls, so to prevent the blood flow. Um, and it does have a lot of benefits. I wanna try it out, see how it is. So I'm gonna see if they got the little the straps in here. I'll go in, check it out, we'll see. As they didn't have the oculations, ocu yeah, oculation straps at Sports Authority, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to uh, just use my knee straps for my biceps. And uh, I'm about to run to H-E-B though, get some snack. Just getting gas out. right now. Filling the car up. Let's see. I'm guessing 16. So it only took $14.67. All right, so I just got back from Walmart. Gonna undo my seatbelt real quick, and I got myself one of these. It's about I forget how long it is. I'm gonna cut it in half. I wish it wouldn't. I mean, I don't mind pink. I'll I'll go with hot pink. Gonna cut it in half, and what I'm gonna do for the oculation training, what you do is you tie it around your arm or your calf. I think that's the only places. Or the quad too. You can do your quad. Tighten it up. It's gonna, you know, really block off the blood flow. The tighter you get it, use it for curls, and uh, really it's gonna be help. It's gonna be a, a total different type of training than I'm usually used to. For our pre-workout, we got is a donut. We got chocolate with sprinkles, man. This is our pre-workout. What we're gonna have pre-workout meal. So I'll eat this right here. Alright guys, back with some commentary. One of my favorite ways to do commentary for our videos just like this. Um, and what we did was some occlusion training. I know it's called an oculation training, but it's occlusion training. And uh, started off with some barbell bicep curls, did 95s, really working my way up. I used to only be able to do like 75s to 25 on each end. Did um, two sets of six. And this is really my main compound movement for biceps. I really have thought these have helped me grow um, with my biceps. So what I like to do is focus on a really slow negative with the movement. Next, we move on to, I know it looks, if you, you guys will see in the future clips, but it looks like I'm really tall. It's because I'm standing on two 45 pound plates. Um, starting to incorporate more deficit and deadlifts because normal deadlifts are kind of getting old for me. Um, looking to change it up. Standing, it's about, that thick with the two 45 pound plates and um, it allows you more range of motion. You'll see a lot of people do that uh, deadlifts this way. It's because the range of motion is a lot tougher. Um, I started off, this was another warm up set of 315 pounds. Then I went into 365 pounds, which I was doing for four reps. So. Really, um, I really like these. I can feel a lot more in my lower back with the deficit deadlifts. A lot tougher. 
And for most of you that guys that do deadlifts or compound movements like benching, things like that, chalk can be your best friend. Um, it's almost like magic when you start to use chalk for the first time, you're like, really? Because um, you have so much grip, you can actually grab the bar, get full control of the motion, that allows for my, more mind-muscle connection and a better lift. And also, um, see me kind of pause between these. I'm wanting to make sure I don't bounce the weight off the floor anymore. I've been doing a lot of that with my old deadlifts. I, when I watch my old videos, uh, when I used to deadlift, I would deadlift and then bounce back off the floor and go right back up. Now that's not really beneficial um, because you're kind of using momentum when it hits the ground to come back up. And uh, I'm really, really trying to focus on making sure I'm hitting that weight and not cheating myself. You'll see me occasionally do it where I take it out on the ground, um, but I'm looking to set it on the ground, bring it right back up. So set it down on the ground for like one second, and then bring it back up. Um, my deadlifts are definitely kind of getting stronger. Um, my one rep max about 420, 420 pounds. Um, my sumo deadlifts a lot higher than that because I can do four or five, three, three reps. But the sumo again is a less range of motion, so. That's what I'm trying to get up to is that range of motion. I did flat after this, I didn't record it, but without the dumbbells and it was crazy without standing on the, that high up range of motion. Um, with occlusion training, uh, what I want to talk to you guys about is I did hammer curls for it. I started off doing normal curls, but then I thought hammer curls would hit it a lot more. Um, you want to do a low weight, high reps, and you want to make sure you don't do it for too long because it does block the blood flow. It just helps with that buildup. I noticed after I took it off and I just did 20 pounds by itself, it felt like 20 pounds was really, really light. It, the total, like, it felt heavy by the last time I was done with the wraps around my arm. Um, and if you do it for your biceps, you wanna make sure you're right under your shoulder, right under the, your delt. Um, and I took it off and I was like, wow. You know, it's like when you go to get a shot, or if you go, you put your arm thing, your arm in that thing at like stores, like Walmart and stuff, they test your blood pressure. This part of the, I ripped the band, I stretched it out too far, and it just flew up and hit my finger. And I was like, oh, now it's only like, I got a quarter band, and then I got the other, the other half. So it just ripped right in half, and I was like, oh. So, um, what I'm really trying to do is. I did these for calves a few days ago and I really felt it, but the bicep definitely, I could feel, you know, the back, the build up. You don't want to do it for too long again, that's my number one tip, is just do it for long enough to where, you know, you feel it, you get a good pump, and you're good to go. Uh, next clip is just going to be some close grip tricep um, bench presses. That's going to really conclude commentary for this video, guys. Um, thank you guys again for watching, make sure to like, share, subscribe, appreciate all your support, guys. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.